Today, July 21st in Los Angeles at the New York International Film and Video Festival at 4 p.m. at Sunset 5. Angelina Jolie, Madonna. Oh my God. Oh, we're here. Oh, Greta Garbo. Gre Greta Garbo. Yeah, baby. <laughs> Hello. Okay. Cool. Hi. 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 Well, thank you so much. That's all right. Yeah, yeah, thanks so much. Right. Great, great. See you right there. Show and Dom is D U M. What hey. is. <laughs> oh, okay. Hi. Hi. I have a lot of energy in it, and there's a lot of drama. So it was, it was fabulous to play. It really was. Four, three, two, and action. Hi there today. What is your name? And where are you from? Been going on and checking out our email address and asking Chloe maybe if you can get a copy because we do have copies of the DVD. Fabulous so far. I've met a lot of great people. 4 p.m. at sunset 5. Hi there, what is your name and where are you from? Hi, I'm Erin Brown, originally from New Jersey. Michaela Dietz, and I'm from Cooperstown, New York. And together we are Those Girls. And we do that dumb show. Ooh. What? <laughs> <laughs> the, the experience in general of watching ourselves on the big screen um, in Los Angeles, in Hollywood, is a dream come true and I've only started my career. So what's your favorite part in the film? What's my favorite part of the film? My favorite part of the film is playing rats. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, any message your film gives out? Any message my film gives out? Good question, actually. Um, what message does it give out? Well, I suppose from my point of view, I don't mean to be big head or anything, but it, I, I hope people will look at this and appreciate um, how much effort and stuff I've put into making this movie. And this movie. Oh, wow. Okay. Okay, we're going five. In the poker. And basically, there's four or five criminals playing at a table. And, uh. Hold on, man. Sorry. No, that's okay. Just, sorry. Oh, can, you ask me me can you ask me that again? Sorry. I'm oh, okay, no. Uh, I'm getting this. No, no, no. Do you, do, you, do you? That's fine. No, it's just. I just. It's uh, just a bit. Every Thursday night, there's a there's a game of of Texas Hold'em poker. Going to all the parties and and uh, the theater and all enjoying all the films and yeah and all those champagne glasses. <laughs> yeah. The message is uh, believe in yourself and. Uh, Believe in what you do, no matter how much people try to put you down, and just keep on working on it, and uh, keep on, you know, doing what you do, and just uh, be yourself. I'm Omar, and I'm from uh, Vancouver. Of life by an evil witch, and uh, he has to uh, break the curse with the power of uh, spirituality. My film premiere is in West Hollywood at the uh, Sunset Theater. And it was just a screen at the Cannes uh, Film Festival at the Short Room Corner. The film is called uh, Who Are You? The Blue Bottles of Suffering. And it's about a young boy who's haunted in his love life by an evil witch. 
and he has to use the power of faith in order to uh, break his curse. Why do you call Renata? Renata, give us a catwalk, Madonna catwalk. <laughs> 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 you know that we found in Carmichael's body. Oh, well, he's in forensics right now. Happy birthday, Dad. Put the disc in your pocket. The directions are simple and to be carried out to the letter. You'll be given a new disc when that one is returned. I hope I don't have to repeat this to you. You're now part of something a lot bigger, kid. One way in, one way out. Five men. And who's out? Faith, because you know that your brothers throughout the world are. Look <laughs> hot. <laughs> no, you look hot. Strange, you're filming New York, yes. and now you're here in Los Angeles. And now let us know what this amazing film is, because you did win Best Actress for. Yes, I'm so thrilled by that. The festival's been awesome. I'm so now, Cristiano, you're in New York, and now you're in LA. Um, how are you feeling being here in Hollywood? Like, is this your hometown?
action. Um, stuck in this whirlwind of uh, bad events that make her become an escort, and uh, basically the movie is surrounded by the love affair and um, her inner conflicts. Was your film premiere? Um, our first film premiere was April 26 in Montreal at Concordia University. We had the red carpet. And um, this today, July 21st in Los Angeles at the New York International Film and Video Festival at 4 p.m. at Sunset Fire. Angelina Jolie, Madonna. Oh my god. Oh, Rita Hayworth. Oh, Greta Garbo. Gre Greta Garbo. Yeah, baby. <laughs> Hello. Okay.
What is it about the festival that you love and you keep coming back on? I know, this is like my third time here and it's just because it's just so amazing, that's why. And uh, I love all the, you know, mingling with all the people and you know, it's a festival of nightclubs, you know, that's what I call it. And you know, you meet, get to meet so many new filmmakers and you know, uh, actors and actresses and it's just so all amazing, you know. a different batch of people you know some some people are the same but you know like at uh, New York it's Pacha and there was China Club and now it's Cabana well, we like Three different locations. It runs in Las Vegas, it runs in Los Angeles, and here in New York, of course, because it's the New York International.
the name of the film and what is it about? Battle of Souls is about a man who goes back from the army and falls in love with his barmaid who's um, stuck in this whirlwind of uh, bad events that make her become an escort and uh, basically the movie is surrounded by the love affair and um, her inner conflict. Five, four, three, two, and...
Okay. That's a good one. I'll take one more. Okay. Years, that, that was so silly of me, wasn't it? A little. <laughs> <laughs> What's my favourite part of the film? My favourite part of the film is when it rapped. <laughs> <laughs> um, no, my favourite part of the movie, I haven't got a favourite part in the movie, to be honest. Um, I, I love the fight sequences, I love the performance between the kid and, uh, and Chancer. Um, I, I, I love the poker table because you get kind of introduced to so many different characters. It's well peaked. That's it. So, I mean, yeah, there's a like huge turn up here. So, we're here to see Lime Salted Love. What's your character all about? Um, well, um, Zephyr is a photographer and she comes to LA to follow her dream um, and her passion in photography and she gets mixed up uh, in a bit more than she can handle, so to speak. And it becomes this love, love triangle of sorts. And, and dealing with childhood traumas and how they shape your sexuality as well. Well, I mean, I saw the film um, in New York and uh, the character definitely did look like a fun character to play because it was like all over the shop. So, you know, did you have to prepare for it or did it just come naturally? Um, I 
think Danielle definitely wrote this uh, this movie with me in mind. Not to say that I, I am Zephyr, but uh, I did have a lot to draw on with this character, so it was nice to be able to to delve into that and, and, and really go places and, and have time for rehearsals and things that you don't always get to have. And, and you know, since we all met in acting class, it was really amazing to, for us to actually do the work in the film. So does this film like also help you like launch into like more other films? I mean, I know you did Terminator 3, and you know you've been involved with like some good films. Where, what does this film for you like help your career? Um, I think the great thing about uh, this film, not only was it a labor of love, but it was the first film that I was also able to produce, um, but it really shows people that uh, I think there's there's much more of an ability there um, than what some people have seen, and I think Danielle has definitely been amused for me in that way and, and wanted to show people that. Awesome. So you and Danielle are very close. Well, you know what? She needs a good friend right now because she's a little stressed. She's strong because of all these people. So maybe you might need to like give her a hug. Yeah, I think she could use that. <laughs> and like enjoy the um, experience tonight. It's awesome. And congratulations. And what is money do you spend? Our money because we're very wealthy. <laughs> you got a couple of grand to like, you know, spare for the shorty brown stuff? I do give away about 25% of my income, and uh, I give it away to uh, Make-A-Wish Foundation. Yeah, are, you one of, are you one of those lucky children? No. How did you get all your cash? Investment, hard work. And then you made a TV show about it? High IQ, Menza. <laughs> and then you made a TV show about it? Not necessarily about how we got the money, but also how do we spend it. And you spend it in Beverly Hills? I spend it all over the world. Oh, so you just travel all around the world? I mean, why? Look it! Like a little Paris Hilton and Lindsay Lohan. Nicer. Right, yeah, 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 no, exactly, exactly. So you, are you looking forward to the Wonder Kids? Yes. Yeah? It's going to be fun. I, I really, I, I put a lot of money into the uh, inner city youth organizations, so this is going to be a really exceptional for me to see. It's going to be very powerful. Yeah, I'm looking forward to it. Well, thank you very much, and uh, you know, you keep spending that money. for independent filmmakers out there, you know, who's trying to make it. Go get a job at a car wash. <laughs> there no, you go. You want to get a, film, get a camera, now there are so many cameras for three or four hundred dollars that you can actually make a movie on. And and write a script. Independent film, filmmaking is all about write your script and get some friends, find out who can act a little bit, and get and get the little camera and, and just shoot it that way. Get people like you to act in it. Well, even if you can't. I mean, I've done that for people I didn't even know. Somebody did a wonderful one called Script Fest. Hey, no, no, no. What film are you here to represent this time? It's called Who Are You? It was a screen at uh, the Cannes Film Festival. Yeah. And I brought it here now. And, and how was it at the Cannes Film Festival? It was amazing, yes. Yeah, very very hot, but it was, uh, you know, amazing. All the people and everything. You guys were there, too. Well, I know.
like a different batch of people, you know, some some people are the same, but you know, like at uh, New York it's Pacha, and it was China Club, and now it's Cabana. Well, we like to hook it up in the club, ever in New York or Los Angeles, that is what it's all about, I am QTV. <laughs>